Okay, this is old. Yeah. And this is not a spring chicken today we're going to be talking about. That only in this modern world can you be fired from a job that you never had. <laughs> and never told anybody you were working at. I just love it. I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I come from an old world where they... You know, where they would actually, they would fire you by mail, you know, send you a Well, you know, the modern days, it reminds me of a Donald Trump, which actually, I think, aren't they kind of a, all in a thing because he might be helping on the presidential debate or something? Yeah. It said a reality star. It's like Donald Trump. I know. We have a reality show, but I don't know. No, the whole reality thing with, you, with his bit, he will give his endorsement after the debate that he is running. I mean, that is, they, they basically, they said that that lowers, every, you know, how low would a politician go while well, you're seeing it in that? But, uh, no, <laughs> I, I think it'll be on a celebrity apprentice. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but, but, but the, okay, we, we basically write besides, um, besides doing video work and stuff, and we, we, because they have rules, you can't tell people you work for them. You're a contributor. That's why over at Fox News, they'll say they're contributors, or CNN contributors, NBC contributors. Well, we, we just lost it, you know, one of our writing gigs because they said they said we work for them. No, we never said we work no. For if you them. go back to anything that we've written, it says contr contributors. They, the company is selling itself, and the company is basically divesting itself of a lot of its sections. One of the sections has to do with his written section. Mm -hmm. So they uh, what they changed the rules, and we didn't fit under those rules. Ah, so, so here's part of it. When they change the rules, do you go back and rewrite everything? No. You just leave it. You never go back and rewrite it because you just let them pull it off. It's just um, mm -hmm. the, the, there's a difference between the, you know, the Internet and the publication. The Internet... They can basically just cancel your written account out for writing for them, and just say it's just done. You don't get paid. On if it's a publication, well, you can fire the person, but you can't go take the pieces of stuff off the news cans or out of libraries or to people's homes. But here's the trick: is when they fire you from an internet publication, they don't understand the internet. It means it's. The people basically copy those things, folks, so they put them on their websites, which means they're there forever. Mm -hmm. It is a library. The Internet is the biggest library in the history of the world, and everything that is ever written are produced out there in the, on the cloud, if they're saying, though. It used to be ether, but on the cloud. It's all in the cloud. Somewhere in, you know, in, in Afghanistan, they can be reading stuff that was taken down five years ago. Because somebody has it up on a site. Mm -hmm. I, I remember uh, Alyssa Milano finally gave up her efforts to get new, new things off of the internet because, mm -hmm. you know, like I think she went through 800 battles, 800 court battles, and she won continually. But as soon as it would be here, it would be there, and then it would be there, and it would be there because she did it. And uh, once it's up, it's almost, you know, we've told people ourselves, well, can you go back and change? We want you to change this because we no longer have that. Uh, that web address. Well, no, because the content isn't, we no longer have control of the content because that content was, okay, what happens is too, okay, everybody knows, all these companies purge content every year because they got a problem with bandwidth. I know, I thought it was just video, but no. apparently it's written too. But we've been, we've been purged by, we expect every, once a year to have all our videos taken down at Yahoo. So that's just normal <gasps> because the, at the fall of every year, they remove, they'll, they'll cut down two or three hundred million videos. They'll I'm wipe off. I'm thinking how long the count was open. Because they would do that every every so often. Yeah, but see, you But wait, this is it's no. just a changing of the guard. The changing of the guard here because yeah. uh, they're moving away from what they were into something else. They, um, so actually, they're moving away from written into more video, which is funny. Most people are trying to move away from video, and they're moving into video because they, uh, they're, really? yeah, they're, you no, know, they have all sorts of. Uh, video things now, but uh, oh, you can now, you used to be a no-no for pictures and video, now all pictures and video are on their list, but they're also moving away from anything that is topical now, because topical is topical and they don't want topical, they want something that can be found over a long period of time, so, uh, but um, you, you can't make money, your money's off a of topical. It's, it's, uh, that's true, it, because that's what gets attention. It is attention. Because whether, like, during, it's, if it's during the holiday season, you have things that are seasonal. Yeah. Right? And because it, that's, 
that's what gets them to look it up. Because otherwise, on the internet, there's no reason to look it up. Yeah. Right. So you, know, you only what do you, do? you if say for instance, okay, say the the president of the United States trips while playing golf and falls in a mud puddle. That's topical. That's news. That's news. It's something that's going to get could, you. It could be news. Yeah, but it will get you something now. But tomorrow it may it not be. Won't be. Tomorrow yeah. is history. Mm -hmm. And it, tomorrow is just funny, but today it's news. You know, was he hurt? Oh, you know, did he fall in a mud puddle? Did he do this? Did he do that? But tomorrow is history. And history is not as big. History is not as impressive as, as today. So, uh, but... You know, we it, it is unique though. Since, you know, we we were, we, they, we we got a formal letter notifying us that we we claimed that we were working for the people. No, we say contributor. We we say contributor. We contribute too. We contribute too, and it says there's a difference. And every every article we don't say we're employed by. This, it, you know, it says it says contributed by. It doesn't say working for. It says contributed by. And then it says on our it said on our web page before it all got changed, contributor. Contributor. Not not working for a contributor. So but uh, Well that's what most of the freelance people are anyway. Because they put on so and so is a free freelance such and such, right? Yeah. yeah. But we knew um, Actually it, we knew a few days ago. Yeah, we knew a few when days they were changing rules. when they were changing the rules. The rules all basically said that uh, okay, they're going from Expanded pieces, which were not really long. We're talking eight, nine hundred words is not long, but they want they, were, they wanted to concise. They wanted to brought down to like four hundred words. Try to try to do a review of products of multiple products at Christmas in four hundred words. It's god awful impossible. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and we had uh, we lost nineteen. Actually, we only lost nineteen. It's actually not that many. Lost 19. We've got the majority are still sitting there because they're sort of more difficult to be screwed with at the moment. But um, uh, we, but but uh, the trick is is that you have to go back and write. You know you can't do a review of 10 items in 400 words. I mean we did one. We did. You know how difficult that is. It's virtually 400 impossible. words, 10 items. You can't mention websites because they. I mean basically if you mention websites, it makes you over the limit. So. Um, they also don't like you know punctuation marks, too much capitalization, too many quotations, this and that, they, because um, they basically narrowed down the writing style so that it comes like it, you know before it was like here and now it is like here, you know this like this little area is what they're aiming for because they shut down the majority of the, the uh, they changed the name of the they changed their name which is they're getting ready for the sell which. Gonna probably be god awful bad. I mean, I mean, uh, you can look for massive changes on the internet to be made once the sale is made, which is a bad thing, you know. So one of the creators of the internet is basically folding, and they're showing the examples that they're cutting back on every god awful thing under the sun. So, mm -hmm. but, um, it is like I said though. Since we thought we didn't think it was, I mean, she got really upset this morning about it, you know, being fired over the internet. But then we pointed out, we tried to point out to her, we knew it was coming. And that, <laughs> I know. Well, we and, knew it. We were a couple, you know, and then prepared. The, and they couldn't fire us. We weren't working for them to begin with. We were a contributor. It reminds me of what was it, Drew Barrymore, you know, movie. She said, did they break up the date with her over a text message? Yeah. Although, you know what, I think my brother was dating somebody and she told him over a text message. Well, actually, we have no... It's like, I've known people that got fired, they got a... That worked for a company where they used to go in every day. Yeah. Where they got fired via FedEx package. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> they, they basically, they, they do it. They'll simply. That, that's how we're doing it. I've been fired three times by the Disney company in my life. Which that's how you know that. How do you know you've been an animator if the Disney company fires you? You're making too much money. Well, see, this is where where things change because remember, people used to have loyalty to their jobs. Yeah. Right, and they'd be there 10 year, 20 year, whatever have you. Yeah. Right now, and then they said, well, the workers changed and they were all out for themselves. Yeah. Well, you, you know why? <laughs> they discovered. Well, yeah. You better be all out for yourselves because you, you can't there's have... no long-term security. It's project to project. Okay, I mean, we do submit things for CNN. I report too. We tell people we submit. We for submit them. for CNN. I report. And we've had three. Uh, we've had three of our things on. You know, on CNN, which we're very happy about. We like to have more on CNN. 
But we also write for a lot of things. We used to write editorials all the time, and I got tired of writing editorials. So, you know, because it got to be a pain in the ass. I also write um, funny things. So, um, but um, I don't care. No, just, you know, it, it, it just is sort of amusing, you know, generally. It, 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 you know, uh, it, it, CNN fired 50 of its staffers because of oh, that's right. Our people like us cost 50 people their jobs. Why? Because equip here's what we told people years ago that, um, okay. Um, uh, they're not the only company that's doing it. No, because they're, they're cutting back in size because um, I think was it two-thirds of the material that Reuters gets are from independent contractors, which is basically means they're citizen journalists. Mm -hmm. Citizen journalism is replacing the people, um, what happens is, is um, you get a lot of people my age that have been in the business since 1950, 40s, 50s, they refuse to change. They, uh, they, they do not understand, which is basically social media and stuff. I, I have a terrible time with it, but I still use it. They won't make changes, so these guys are dying. That's what I am. I'm a dinosaur. I'm from another time period. These are dinosaurs that basically aren't prepared to move forward, you know. Well, we've seen that so much in the changing of the guard, whether it's well, it's companies, it's trade shows. I mean, like, for example, we can see at a trade show when the trade show is going backwards because yeah. they change the po because of how they change their policy. Yeah. First thing they do is they cut back on press. When a trade show is, is, is in, a, in a bad state, they want the press that is not their press gone, mm -hmm. totally gone. I mean... They, have, they always give you the same excuse, well, we sit down and talk to the people that are paying the bills on the floor, and they want less press, and then you, then you, 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 then here's the trick is that we occupy two different tiers. We occupy a tier down here, and we occupy a tier up there. The tier up there doesn't like the people down here, and we don't get invited, you know, because of that, we're perfectly welcome to go to events up here, but we, the same, you know, we don't get to go to the case house, but we're sitting at dinner tables, having dinner with the people, you know, you know that they've changed the press policy this year, and that they've re they've cut back on fifty percent. of What do you mean they cut back? Well, because yeah. it's the um, organization that does that, whereas the people that are doing it, it's like we have to pay this much amount, and they're hoping for all the press that can they need come. all the press they can come because it's free ever it's free promotion, and they don't since you're not okay. Here's the way it works: they're not giving you anything at the press events. Are you getting any, are, you know, we used to get, for instance, the press, used, well, we're, we, we actually can remember when you had hot meals for the press. Mm -hmm. Now it's like box lunches, if you can get a box lunch. But they have, uh, even one trade show after another in this country is, is shrinking. They shrink from the press division first. Because they'll go to the people that basically, uh, okay, here, here's another reason why we got fired is because we were writing reviews from the truth side. And it, well. it, 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 um, it offends people to tell the truth. You know, if the one, Mark Twain, you know, I have Mark Twain, but I write my own Mark Twain stuff. The, the, you know, the one thing that the people uh, are, are, are least likely to believe is the truth, and they hate the truth. So, um, if you tell the truth, it always gets you in trouble. But that was way, you know, Pravda means truth in Russian. Mm -hmm. So, you think Pravda is the most, you know, <laughs> you know, controlled publication in the world. But, um, Oh, really? That's yeah. kind of funny. Is that like our transparency? Our transparency. Our transparency For the US is there, government no, now. there is no transparency, but um, you, know, you can tell the truth and get thrown off, of, you know, get fired. Or you can basically do the party line, which is basically suck up to everybody and then have a nice career. Well, we're, we're still standing. Mm -hmm. We're still standing because what you do is you just... Um, it's called, you move on. We were expecting it. it bothered, like I said, it bothered her when she read that this morning. It didn't bother me because I'd already been prepared we, for we, it We started ago. preparing a few days ago. Yeah, and then we also had articles that weren't up yet. <laughs> so they get to go elsewhere now. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's just the way it is. It's, um, it's a modern world. You know, when, they, when you, you fire, it, like I said, it just, it just it's sort of amazing to fire somebody that never worked for them. Mm -hmm. Because you said you were telling people you were working for us. No. Mm -hmm. You know, we specifically says contributor. We're very happy that it said contributor. The people, the ones them. Well, I, I put links you and put then you, link. and you put the link. Yeah. So whatever the link says. I mean, okay. We have, um, 
we put, we have, I don't know, god awful amount of stuff over on CNN I report. We've got three of them that have been on CNN. We never even tell people we do things for CNN mostly. Yeah, we usually don't. We don't even tell people that because CNN is very uppity about that fact. They're getting less uppity now because they're because now they depend, all those people. They depend <laughs> upon people to submit material now. But they've also changed their website, you know, um, their their thing a, a bit, which makes I know and it's the third time they changed it in the last month. So, but um, when you you know you do things, there are publications in this country that basically hire a lot of outside people. We know people that are basically, you know, well they they you know I was featured writer and they rejected my thing because they changed the structure. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when cutbacks also result in less staff working to edit to, to do things, so they they want you, um, you know, because I, I I was in when I was in college I used to write circular, uh, you know, circular uh, blue book. You know, get the blue What's book. That? They give you they give you a question for the final. Oh, and then you write the answer. And then I would sit there and write a great big thing that came around. Teachers hated it, but there was nothing they could do because I'd say everything proper and end up back to the head. So, but you, you, I could go, I could fill up one of these little pamphlets, a blue book, what they call it. I just, I just write and write and write and write. And after a while, they get tired of reading. So, but what happened is, when you're cutting back at a news organization, editorial staff is almost always the first to go. Yeah. And they don't have the time anymore, so they, they'll sit there and they'll, they'll count, you know, because uh, word processors now will tell you how many words that you I got. Know, which is really nice. And they'll say, uh, you know, we're, our new word count is 400, and that's like 850. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and um, they'll, they, you, they'll tell you now you've got to go oof it down a bit, but if you've got... <laughs>